scientists think that the termination of use is best suited to the situation where it is used. Betelgeuse is a star of a red super and is located in about 642.5 years from the Earth in the constellation Orion. His distance is quite possible in the most evidenced and exciting stars in the night sky. Because of the Hipparchos astrometric satellite, we received important data on the distance of the celestial body, and the distance with this particular star is still about 430 light years in the air. This information helps us to catch the amazing distance between many universe and divine body. Betelgeuse has a clear simple point between 0.0, .0 and 1.6, so it is a variable star. Alpha Orionis is the second magnificent star in Orion's sky with the appointment of Bayer. Because it is unpredictable, Betelgeuse can sometimes shine brighter than Rigel. Astronomers have been fascinated by the research of stars and their characteristics for centuries, and early astronomy studies ensure detailed observation and classification. Betelgeuse, currently written by Betelgeuse, was given to Alpha Doris in Bayer's publication in 1603 and pointed out the turning point of the history of star nomenclature. Another outstanding star of Orion, Rigel, was named Beta Orionis. This name remained with us and became important for our identification and understanding of the giants of this heaven. Betelgeuse, in particular, is probably the most famous star in our sky in the light of colorful and diversity due to its attractive ways of behavior and expected fate. Betelgeuse is an interesting star for any reason, and one of them is freedom. Betelgeuse is lonely with many stars needed for groups or space meetings. It is separated from a large part of the neighbors because it is not in the area where the new star is effectively formed. This free nature also adds characteristics in control stars. Control stars are surprisingly used to describe the stars of the past gravitational staff with other stars or supernova, which pass through the space at a surprisingly high speed. The most amazing reality of Betelgeuse can be a big size. The star has about 764 times more than the sun. If the Betelgeuse is placed at the center of our planetary group, the surface can be inhibited through the Weizong circle and inhibits the internal planet and the space rock becomes a small woman. Such a test emphasizes how a huge star is. Despite the size, the mass of Betelgeuse is about 16.5 times more surprising than the sun. Betelgeuse is classified as a red supergu with a larger size and a relatively cool temperature compared to other stars. At about 3,600 Kelvin surface temperature, the Betelgeuse is cooler than the sun despite the large size and mass. On the contrary, the surface temperature of the sun is about 5,778 Kelvin. This cooler temperature is normal for red superguides that can be unimaginable on a huge surface area, even if the temperature is low. Of course, Betelgeuse is several times happier than the sun. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in night sky despite the significant distance on the ground. Its brilliance is often seen with lymph eyes, making it a noticeable component in Orion star group. One of the most interesting parts of Betelgeuse is to talk about age and his future. Betelgeuse, it may seem old according to the main principles of human beings for about 10 million years, but it is moderately young in a galaxy term. On the contrary, our sun is about 4.6 billion years. Despite childhood, Betelgeuse actively depleted hydrogen in the developed star, the center, and continued to bother the heavier components. In many cases, this stage of star life is the preface of emotional ending, especially space explosion. Such an explosion will be a case of finishing the life of the Betelgeuse and a logically and externally important case. In such cases, radiation can affect the environment of the Earth, perhaps harm to the ozone layer of our Earth, and can increase the openness of aggressive endless rays. Since one of us was next to the heavenly neighbors such as Alpha Centauri, the impact on Earth when it had to be a space explosion could be special. We will still be exposed to intensive radiation throughout the electromagnetic spectrum including foot rays and x-rays, which can have a big impact on the life of the Earth, even if it is not as bright as the moon. Fortunately, the last supernova, the last supernova observed in our galaxy, occurred in 1604, and no subsequent supernova was observed. Nevertheless, the space explosion was found in a huge Magellan cloud in 1987, which is a good way of 169,000 light years on the ground. Known as the SN1987A, this case gave space scholars with an unusual opportunity to focus on the outcome of the universe explosion. The ruins of supernova, such as G292.01.8, serves as a universe notification of this fatal event. 
despite the fact that the results of the Earth are not important due to distance. In most cases, this residue is rich in ingredients such as oxygen, applied to the universe during the explosion, and suggests 